here we go. Uh, having to use my phone. <laughs> I just dropped my daggone camera in the water. That thing doesn't want to work now. And Lord only knows why. Uh, oh well. Yeah, this will be the second one I've gone through if I can't get her dried out. But, I think, not sure yet, if I can stick this daggone stick down in here where it ain't going to fall over. I think I might have something down here. If it is, it's busted up. Oh, I don't know, I can't see too good in my, in my screen. But, yeah, looks like it's got a few flakes on it. A little scraper or something. Oh, well, well, if I get it back over here where you can see it, it's busted on that end, but got a few flakes up on there. All right, well, since I'm having such a wonderful day, I'm glad you're here to enjoy it with me. Uh, so, as I said on my other part of my video that I had recorded already, I appreciate you guys' comments and views. Most of all, I appreciate your friendships. So, uh, I hope you're all out there finding a few killers and, and maybe uh, my luck will turn around here a little bit myself. Alright, thanks now. We'll be back if we get anything else. See y'all. Bye. Well, I'm back. Oh uh, well, the uh, this creek kind of circles around the S field. And that's it right up there. It's in soybeans. And uh, can't do any walking there. I've been walking the edges of the creek and out there in the water. And uh, here I just, there goes my stick. <laughs> I don't want to walk out there, it's about three foot deep. Alright, anyhow, walking along through here and holy mackerel. I believe I got me something with a groove on it. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. -y. It ain't no wax, but it's a some kind of hammer stone. Let me step out here and wash this thing off. This daggone bank here is all collapsing right down through here. So, doesn't surprise me. Oh, yeah. Well, there we go. Nice little thing. That daggone stick. I'll tell you what. Well, if I find anything else, I will be back. Even though I'm on the phone. <laughs> Alright, I got a little bit ways further to go. And that's about the end of it. Alright, I hope to see you again. Bye now. I'm back again. I'm, oh man, I hope I can get my feet out of the way. I believe I got me something right there. Yes. Oh, man, I thought I was going to have pressure on it. No pressure. Just a dog on tip. Oh, well. That's all she wrote, but man, that's a big one. Oh well. 
If there's anything else, I'll certainly be back. All right. Thanks for looking, y'all. Bye. Well, I'm going to forego the cleanup video to do something I have neglected to do because of the fact that I just haven't had time. And that is to thank Mr. Ben Indian Trace for uh, a package he just sent me. And I'll have to add these in with some of my uh, gifted items. I'm not going to pick up every piece except for maybe a couple. This one here is amazing. I mean, it's just extremely thin and well worked. That's a heartbreaker for sure. And that is just the base. I would have loved to have seen that piece hold, but I'm sure if it was it would still be in his collection. <laughs> but there's some pottery pieces up here. And a hammer stone. Real nice example of a hammer stone. Oh yeah. Gotta go in with the hard stone, for sure. A little bit more pottery. Some really cool rhyolite pieces. And amazingly enough, it don't show, well, it shows up some. You can actually see the flaking on some of this stuff. Man, it's, it's coarse. That's a pretty nice piece. Pretty, pretty nice. Crazy looking thing here with a fishtail base. Yeah, that's cool. Then the quartz pieces. Some of these are, are finely worked and man. That's like ice. That's just white ice. That's all it is. And a few more at a lateral points. Cool little triangle right there. I mean, that thing is tiny and super thin. That thing's no bigger than my thumbnail. I'm not real familiar with the types from down that way, but I believe I see some more mountains, and that's got to be probably a Hamilton. And I know what that is, but I couldn't, I can't remember right now. But anyhow, Ben, I really appreciate the package, man. There's a lot of cool stuff in there. It's just amazing what uh, some of the ancestors had to go through to be able to survive. But you are truly blessed to have such a great place to hunt. And you're a good guy for wanting to share with everybody and I'm sure there'll be a package coming your direction uh, shortly and the only piece that uh, I found worth showing today well there's my three broken what knots this old guy right here he's small but pretty cool all right well i hope you all are uh out there finding a bunch and you get some killers and i appreciate the comments and the views and you guys have yourself a wonderful day all right
Thanks for looking. Bye now.